In this video, we're going to talk about VO2 max, what it is, why it's important, and how FirstBeat makes it easy for you to check in on your own fitness level. Let's break it down. V stands for volume, O2 is for oxygen, and max stands for maximum. So VO2 max is the measure of how much oxygen your body is able to utilize during maximum effort. It describes the maximum rate at which your body can import oxygen and transport it to the muscles, where it is used to transform nutrients into energy aerobically. VO2 max is typically reported as milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of body weight per minute, and it is the defining metric of cardiorespiratory fitness, also known as your aerobic fitness level or aerobic performance capacity. The higher your VO2 max, the more effective your body is at using oxygen, and the better your cardiorespiratory or aerobic fitness. For example, a typical VO2 max for a 30-year-old man is between 40 and 47. But if he is in extremely poor shape, his VO2 max might be as low as 27. And if he's super fit, like an endurance athlete, his VO2 max can be over 54. Historically, VO2 max has been measured directly during maximal effort in a laboratory, or estimated using fixed protocol submaximal tests. First beat, however, can estimate your VO2 max, that is your fitness level, during freely performed walks, runs, or rides without special testing protocols. This makes it easy to track changes in your VO2 max fitness level. You can see when it goes up or down. To achieve this, FirstBeat analyzes a combination of heartbeat data, movement speed, and personal background information. In other words, how hard your body is working to produce your performance. Smart analytics mean only meaningful data is used in the detection. This makes FirstBeat's calculations very reliable. Using real-world data, the method is shown to be 95% accurate compared to laboratory measurements. The FirstBeat Analytics engine learns from you over time, so the more you use your device, the more reliable your VO2 max fitness level estimate becomes. VO2 max depends on many predefined factors and can be influenced by your activities. Values typically decline with age, and women have lower values than men. Also, genetics influence your VO2 max, both the baseline and the trainability. However, practically everyone can significantly improve their VO2 max with aerobic exercise. Increasing your VO2 max will improve your endurance performance in activities like running and cycling. But it's not just for athletes, as your VO2 max is also a powerful indicator of your overall health. A low VO2 max is associated with higher risk of cardiovascular disease and all-cause mortality. According to the American Heart Association, cardiorespiratory fitness is actually a better predictor of mortality than many other risk factors like smoking, hypertension, or high cholesterol. And of course, a higher VO2 max makes daily activities like climbing stairs or carrying grocery bags easier. How much can you improve your VO2 max? The answer depends on where you start. The fitter you are, the harder you need to work to improve. The lower your fitness level when you start, the easier it is to improve, but it still takes some effort. Improving your VO2 max requires regular physical activity with sufficient intensity. With FirstBeat's VO2 max fitness level, you can see your progress as you go. This means no more guesswork about whether you are fit enough to achieve health benefits or whether your training is effective enough to achieve your performance goals.